let me bring in a chieftain of the PDP and a member of the Board of Trustees, Chief Olabode George. He joins us from Lagos in the Koyi area of Lagos State. Thank you so much, Chief George, for joining us tonight on the program. What a day is it for your party? And perhaps what is even happening in Lagos PDP governorship primary is not settled yet. Uh, do we have an update from your own constituency? I don't know if okay. Chief Judge can hear me. I can hear you. Can't All right, you. If, if you can hear me, I can hear you now. It does look like uh, your audio to me is okay, but I don't know if you can receive my audio from your end. Um, if you can hear me, I was asking you uh, if you have an update from your own constituency, which is Lagos State, how far with the governorship primaries in your own constituency? Now, now, the process is still going on. The process is still ongoing. Okay. And um, I was told earlier that some of the contestants, some of the aspirants uh, stepped down. So there is still a competition, I think, between two people. So in another one hour or maximum two hours, we know the actual outcome of the race so we are okay okay that that would be interesting okay. we have our man there on the ground monitoring uh, the lagos uh, go pdp governorship primary but let me get your reaction to uh, the news coming in about some of those who are pulled out of the race a major one is that of peter obi how much of a disappointment is this for you or is it shocking is it a surprise to you You know? Now, um, once that news broke, I, I was taken aback because Obi Peter is, uh, has established himself as a highly respectable and responsible gentleman, very resourceful both in human resource and all endeavors of life. But for him to have dumped the PDP, I don't know why he did that. Um, it's a pity that he, he actually dumped the party. Um, life is full of a lot of imponderables. You can't win it all all the time. And uh, Nigeria is still developing. I had the analysis of your former friend who was talking about the generational gap, uh, youths and the older ones. But my, my, my take and my appeal to everybody in this country is that, yes, don't think that we are like America yet. America is over 200 years old. Even their democracy is not perfect. We are still like a toddler when you talk about the democratic dispensation. So it will take time. And the democratic practice is not a 100-meter dash race. It's a continuum. And you win some, you lose some. But the most important thing is after every election, there will be a post-mortem analysis. And during that post-mortem analysis, they will look at the failures, the drawbacks, and make amends for us to start growing. Um, I am not very happy that he, maybe he has another plan. I don't know why. I have a lot of regard for him, a lot of respect. And every presidential aspirant in our party that came to Lagos to lobby the delegates came to my office to pay respect. And we listen to them, all the elders in Lagos and the other followers, the local government chairmen and all that, and even the delegates listen to them. And I was particularly very happy with every one of them. But who will win? I am not a soothsayer, and I don't use any crystal ball. 
may the best win. The important thing is, whoever we are going to present to the Nigerian public must be somebody that has the character that has, has a track record of high responsibility, a good character, not, not somebody who had so many filthy uh, things in his closet. Because public office is public trust. Those are the things we should look at as we move ahead. Um, you see, in, in Abia, Enugu, I believe that what happened probably was, you know, we talk about zoning. We, we will continue to talk about zoning until Nigeria will be a nation that these intertribal uh, interferences will be reduced. Zoning is so key in everything we do so that no particular section of the state will overdrive what we are doing. And um, so let me, I, let me I, quickly jump in quickly. I am sure uh, it those does who look will to do, me, George, that maybe like what has take Abia State, in party, take Abia state. state, in Enugu State, in Akwaibom, and in fact that of Peter Obi, for example. In Abia State, yeah. the minority leader yeah. has described the process as a charade. Mm. Um, uh, Senator Ekuromad is not happy with the state of the race. Mr. Onofio Luke has described the situation as more confusing than anything. And also Mr. Oba, in a quabum race, has made reference to the issue of uh, the court, the lawsuit, and what the court is saying. It does look to me that in a whole lot of these are uh, issues relating to the processes and whether or not the PDP is following due process. Do you see any major problem that the, the party is looming in the corner for the party? No. I can't hear him. You know, Sheung, you know, yeah. in every state, Lagos is the only state that you can hardly differentiate your various groups. Because Lagos, um, we have, the, the, from, from the very inception, is the melting pot of this country. People come here, we don't discriminate in Lagos State. So, but as you move to Ogun State, you will hear people, the Yewa people are there, the Egba people are there, the Remo people are there, and then the Jebus. So once it, uh, one group becomes a governor, to prevent perpetuating that group in office, you will rezone it to either Yewa, Egba, or Ijebu, or Remo. So the same thing that is happening. If you, I know that of uh, Akwaibom very well. You know, in Akwaibom, you have the uh, Ibibios. They are the largest in population. You have the Anang. And the smallest tribe, they are from Eket. You know, so it takes a lot of time. If the governor, for example, the present governor, comes from the smallest tribe. I remember when uh, Akwaibio was coming in. He's an Anang man. I remember Governor um, Atta at that time was saying that since the inception of the party, all right, of, of creation of their state, the Ibiobios have always been running. And it will make a lot of, for purposes of oneness, that an Anang man must emerge as the governor. And when Akwabio uh, was going, he said, Osko, the other smallest uh, tribe, must become the governor. So you cannot rule it out for now. But as we grow, somehow... George, I, I need your over, expertise over, and your experience uh, in this one. That Give us clarity as what you know as of now as in relation to yeah. the, those who will be the delegates for the presidential primary on the 28th and 29th. Uh, let me show you this for what we understand that the national delegates... One per uh, local government. And whether or not your party will use uh, 
Uh, the person is living with disabilities, yes. which according to your party convention, uh, is supposed to be one per state. Uh, if you can show that, uh, yes, that's it on the screen. This is uh, those whom we hope that will appear as delegates for the PDP. Uh, mm -hmm. We did that for APC yesterday. But is this what will play out? Or is there any other plan as far as the PDP yeah. is concerned? No. This is the actual plan. This is the actual plan uh, of those who will be going to our convention. Because um, the amendment that everybody was talking about was not signed by Mr. President. So the total number of delegates have now reduced. Even the president himself cannot vote at the primaries. All members uh, of the National Assembly both the senators and the House of Representatives, they cannot vote. Those of us who are members of the Board of Trustees of our party, we are not delegates, we cannot vote. So it has reduced the number of delegates considerably, and it will be easier for the party to manage. Whether it is a plus for this country or a minus for this country, we will see. Um, it's a new, it's a new experience. I mean, we, we were looking about at about 5,000 people for, a de for uh, as delegates, but suddenly now it's less than about 1,000. So, by and large, All right, well, well, we will I, see I hope that you're coming it. to Abuja. I hope um, that you're, no, I'm not sure you're a delegate, Chief John, you have uh, to the own president, advantage. but we hope to see you in the arena. I know that you're a party chief, and you might be there. <laughs> so hoping that to see you. Thank you so much, Chief Judge, for coming tonight. Always a pleasure talking to you on the I program. Would just... Thank you so much indeed. That is Chief <laughs> Olabode Judge, a member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, who's been speaking with us on the program tonight. Well, that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm sure. Kimale, bye for now.